It is really hard when you're designing it on paper. You know, you measure out the, the footprint on the floor, but you just can't really get a feel for the space until you're in it. And I think everything but one thing, which was that door we we nailed on the design. Should we go to stand at the door we've changed? Yeah. yeah. It's always juicy with Jeff. And behind me is going to be a 185 square meter four bedroom home. When you first looked at it, was it scary, overwhelming? It was really hard to visualize the size of uh, the bathroom and how all the things were going to interact together. Being the weird ones that are measuring their bathroom, you know, to figure out, okay, actually the one on the plans is about the same size as this, and this feels comfortable. And you're not quite feeling like this space is working quite right? Yeah. Is, is 185 a firm limit and do we rejig the floor print? It kind of slipped through the design phase and we've changed the plans. There's the front door, so... Oh. Good catch. That's yeah. corner flashing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome to Jeff's house. <laughs> Starts off as just a big piece of dirt, really. We're just standing on the section, and behind me is going to be a 185 square meter four bedroom home. Again, amazing outlook uh, with these trees, beautiful sun, really private. Uh, this is going to be an amazing spot to build a home. I'm Josh, a builder here in New Zealand, and this is Jeff, my very first subscriber. How are you? Good, thanks. Guess what? I'm building Jeff a home. Yeah, um, subscribe, you get a free house. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go inside? Yeah, sure. Uh, or we'll shall we not? Yeah, we'll have to go around the back. <laughs> so we're going to call this series Jeff's kind of off the grid, rural dream home. Kind of off the grid. Yeah. yeah we are on the grid, as far yeah. as power is concerned. And, and fast broadband to watch our videos. Yeah, exactly. That's the only reason we got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was a must-do, eh? And they yeah. settled in. It's in the contract. I've got to watch every video. Yeah. And like and subscribe. Yeah. You should just get Jeff walking around and touching stuff. Yeah. What, like the house or touching other things? <laughs> um, what's this? So or that is a product called Hardy Groove. On the original design, this wall actually had a window there. Yeah. But we decided that this was one of the areas of the house we wanted to block. We wanted the privacy. Yeah. We didn't want the neighbours kind of like the neighbours are higher than us here. Yeah, so they'll be looking right in the whole time. At yeah. Whatever. Oh, should we stand in the bathroom? Sure. Um, I'm gonna sit right here, should I? <laughs> So here we are, three guys in a tiny bathroom. <laughs> How cool. It's not that tiny. <laughs> wow, well, yeah, actually, this is a this is a generous size. We yeah. could actually probably get two more guys in here, right? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> is that your plan for a party, is it? <laughs> it would be a bit worrying. In your specific design, how those two bathrooms yeah. were was really critical to how you want to use the home. Yeah, and I think one of the biggest things for us is it's not it was really hard to visualize the size of uh, the bathroom and how all the things were going to interact together. Mm. Um, and in the end, we just ended up um, going to a few different houses, a friend's houses, and we were there and like being the weird ones that are measuring their bathroom, you know, to figure out, okay, actually, the one on the plans is about the same size as this and this feels comfortable. Do you know I actually did the um, exact same thing when we were building? I literally was like, hey, can I just quickly measure your yeah. walk in wardrobe? <laughs> yeah. It, it kind of opened the door yeah. to get advice from them about, like, well, what, you know, yeah. does this wardrobe work for you? And I found that, like, as you started to ask those questions of people, they were, like, mm. more than forthcoming on, like, their tips. Absolutely. You don't have nothing, it doesn't have to be like everything in your house is perfectly unique. Like, you can be mm. a shameless cloner and go, uh, like we have done with your house, we like the TV room and um, whether or not we make it dark as well, but the, the concept is, is exactly copied into our house, so mm. just copy. Um. You know, you, you can read on a bit of paper, this is three by three and a half metres or whatever, um, and, but until you compare it to another space that is pretty much that same size, it's really hard to pick out whether it's going to be right for you or not. Mm. Even if your builder can't show you that, like like you said, go and yeah. ask friends. Don't be afraid to take a tape measure to a friend's house or yeah. to your own house. Hey, hey. Come right up on you. <laughs> 
I was coming to find you. We should just <laughs> we should just keep looping each other. Uh, so this is your section, Jeff. That is. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, there's no house yet. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm out of here. <laughs> nah, but then technically out uh, here we are. Yeah. We're going to be creating a space. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah. Fuck up there. Yeah. Do the um, Q&A, eh? Well, question, Josh. <laughs> okay, so Jeff, just recently have purchased this land. I have, yep. And how was that process for you? Uh, it was pretty smooth, actually. When you first looked at it, was it scary, overwhelming? You've brought a house before, but this is the first time you've brought a yeah, correct. piece of land. Pro probably not um, either of those two things, but more just full of questions. Uh, I had no idea about what part of the process comes first do you buy the land do you talk to the builder do you all, all that kind of stuff mm. luckily i told you that the two go hand yeah, in hand exactly i watched the video you <laughs> you <laughs> it starts off as just a big piece of dirt really and then you start thinking about um where will the house sit where where would the lawn be and in this case like there's a nice amount of bush and so um you know having a spot for the the kids to play and once you start piecing together in your mind how it's all going to fit in that's when you yeah. start getting across the line and thinking let's do this another day in the mobile office we're just off to prime designs again oh and look at that i'm getting a phone call um where was i we are off to Prime, meeting the clients. They are on the final part of their house design. There's two parts of design. First part is concepts, and that's like the layout, how it sits on the land, all that sort of stuff. Probably shouldn't let go of the wheel while I'm driving. Jeff's just rocked up for a meeting at Prime Designs to do the final revision. How you doing, Jeff? Good. We'll get a like typical B-roll shot, talking yeah. about <laughs> laughing. But right now? Yeah. <laughs> But what, what if we actually push the wall of the TV room and the bathroom that way? Oh yeah. Which is saving on cladding. Yeah. It's uh, increasing your roof space still, but, mm. um, but might be a little bit cheaper. So I'd push that through with Kate. Yeah. You've, you, you're happy with this, 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 this. Yeah. For, lap, for all intents and purposes. Yeah. From what I can gather, you, you're not keen on the loss of laundry here. Yeah. And you're not quite feeling like this space is working quite right. Yeah. So there's two things you, you'll need to resolve with Kate is, do we rejig the floor print? And is, is 185 a firm limit? How do you feel like in the space now you can like walk around? It's good, we're real happy with it. It was really hard when you're designing it on paper. Like Prime were great, they took us through a little 3D kind of walkthrough of the house, but even then you can only really get a bit of an, you know, you can measure out the, the footprint on the floor, but you just can't really get a feel for the space until you're in it. And I think everything but one thing, which was that door, we, we nailed on the design straight up and we couldn't be happy with it really. It's just, um, it just all fits in perfectly. Should we go to stand at the door we've changed? Yeah. So this is Jeff's uh, second bathroom. You're standing literally on the loo right now. And this was gonna be a door and the conundrum was, does it swing this way, does it swing that way? It kind of slipped through the design phase and it wasn't until the frames were up and Jeff was walking around with the plumber. The two of them decided that it would be better to turn this into a sliding door. Mm -hmm. So we worked with Prime, we've changed the plans, we've put this lintel in that's all gone through council, so small variation. Are you happy with the change? Yeah, 100%. There was one that we were having and ahhing about at the start. We were trying to avoid a little, one of the basins on the side of the wall. We kind of wanted a full one, but to achieve that we had to bring the door further along and just get a little bit too compressed. I promised Josh no 
no changes. <laughs> <laughs> and now right. I'm promising I'm only one. <laughs> uh, so we're going to have the door here sliding this way because yep. I don't think you'd want to be sitting on the loo here in the door. Just blocking it off. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Not with kids because that's exactly what they'll do. Yeah. Open plan toilet, eh? Yeah. <laughs> we'll sleep like this, Josh. Yeah, how about you walk us through the rest of the house, Chief? Alright, uh, we'll, I mean, we'll, come, we'll come through from the living area and there's a split, obviously, living area at one end and bedrooms at the other, down the hall with a couple of bedrooms around the place and what it is, the main yeah. bathroom, yeah. Jeff, super brief tours. So we're in the main bathroom? Yeah, so yeah. plan with this one is epic shower here and view out there, is that right? Well, that's where the view is, yep. Yeah. Correct. And bath under the window there? This is the one room I think we spent probably the most time on, just trying to nail uh, the way to fit everything in and um, have everything make the most of the view, but also still feel like it was a logical flow to the room that made sense. So over, just over here is the master bedroom. Yep. Another amazing view. Yeah, we took it, the kids don't get it. How do you feel about like the two, it's like the H with the two big gables and the little annex in between? I think we just like the look of it more than anything. Like we definitely wanted a house where the bedroom area is separated from the, the living area. We do have family over reasonably often and putting the kids to bed at the far end of the house is a lot nicer than having them that close. But that's just a separation of living versus your bedrooms. The, the H was just a nicer look from the outside really. Just copying nice things we've seen around the place. Should we have a look in the garage? Yep. Uh, so it's hard to see, but above us here is going to be your attic storage room. Yep. And so we, we've had specially designed trusses where the, we've left a void in the middle. Yep. Uh, beefed up the bottom, got some flooring sheets up there. We're going to cut an attic stair in there. So the next time, we'll be hanging out in Jeff's attic. In the secret room. Yeah. What's the plan for the garage? Is it going to be cars or yeah. gym or...? No, no, not gym for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, just the cars. It's, um, it'll be nice to finally have um, cars inside as opposed to, you know, parked in the driveway or something, especially in the cold mornings. Do you want to talk about this room or...? Just a bedroom. Just another bedroom. Oh, yeah. Not an office. Nah, no, I mean, it'll probably be used a little bit like that sometimes because we don't have that many kids. Well, no, it's not true. We do have that many kids, but the boys, uh, the twins share a room right now, but there's always the chance that one day they won't want to, so we thought we'd put an extra room in, or for guests, or for working in lockdown, if that happens again. This is the front door, so... Oh. Good catch. That's a quarter <laughs> flashing. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're right at your kitchen island. You'd be yep. kitchen island there. Yep. Have beer, or you'd actually be having me the beer. Less than one. Yep, <laughs> yeah. So we can walk around either side. Correct. And then all your appliances and everything along the back wall there. Yep. The back wall's completely filled in. Dining in the middle, battles for your lounge, for the fireplace, and looking that way. There's no TV in this main room. The fire's on an angle like this, eh? Yep. Then we go boom. Straight through the roof. So you've got a media room as well as a lounge sort of set up? Yeah, sort of a playroom. Where did you get that idea, Jeff? Like we have done in your house. We like the TV room and um, the concept is, is exactly copied into our house. The door will slide this way? Yep. Uh, so doors here sliding this way, uh, similar to the cavity slider door we've got in my house. And then couch will be here? Maybe. We haven't figured that part of it out yet. The TV's probably going to be in that wall. So. Alright, and you've got a spare plug there? Just in case we want it there. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, the battery's about to die, should I just change it? We'll talk fast. Nah, we'll talk, okay. yeah. So Jeff, we're about to take off. Is there anything else important you need to discuss that we haven't pre-planned? <laughs> what about the beer fridge? How are we going to put that in? Beer fridge? Yeah. Well, how did we even forget that? The beer nook. <laughs> the most important yeah. part of the whole build. Yeah, so as you know, every J&K build comes with a beer nook. 